Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dad Games Badly. We're back here today with NHL 23 and our 48 team expansion franchise draft franchise. Uh, now, that's quite the mouthful, I know. I've had a hard time saying it here. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into it today. We did the fantasy draft and kind of showed you the setup of things. Let's go take a quick look at these teams. Our team, anyway. No. Oh, yeah, they changed it. L1... Head coach preferred lines. I mean, I prefer Dylan Holloway in the middle. I was hoping to have Holloway here. Felino's the left wing. Do it more of this. Put Genther up here. Hathaway is perfect right there. Sylvie. Okay, that looks good. Defensively, Owen oh, Power and Bach West. I mean, yes. In the AHL. Erwin, France, and Myers. I just want to make sure nobody is scratched that shouldn't be. Kamel and Stranges need to go down. Because um, they're not going to get any playtime this year. They're too too low overall. I want to at least do something. This is a solid team to make us a bubble team. Not too good. Not overly terrible. But, like, no, we're not going to make the playoffs with this team. But I don't. these two don't need to go there. Oh, that's a nice feature. Quick sub? Ho oh, ho! EA sneaking that one in. I like that. Um, okay. So let's go. Nope, sorry. How do I. L3, go to Ross. Alright, gotta remember where that is now. So triangle is their strategy button. We got to figure that out too when we go into it. I don't know if we can make any changes because we have coaches, right? Uh, yeah, because there's no injuries, so I don't need any extras. Change the league here quickly. Go edit the lines down here. <clears throat> Head coach preferred. I mean, they both get in, so that's what I want to see. Okay, so this stuff is locked. We can't change any of the strategies. But can I do it for, like, lines? No. So why even make it available to me? Is it just so I can look through them, I guess? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Alright, I like that. I like that you can do that at least. That's something. Right, let's switch over to here. Uh, double check our goalies were good. Um, no, I want him to get backup minutes. Costs I want getting starting minutes in the NHL. You don't want to do that to the poor kid. Lines. I want to edit them because then I don't have to change anything back. The stupid nonsense you guys did. I 
I mean, we're like a C-level team for sure. But that's not a bad thing. We have some solid young guys to build around for the future. And I'm happy about that. I do want to just take a look in free agency and see if there's anyone, anyone else available. Worth anything. I mean, Josh Anderson's really the only player I would go after. Honestly, I'm going to bring him in in case... What's his pickle? Doesn't, uh, like, show up. Um, Genther. Because he's still young that I can bury him, and I'm not too upset by it, so... I'll just... Uh, before I forget... Change region. Has any of this changed? Probably not. Put one in every league. I'll probably take that A minus guy out of uh, Can I do that? Nope. Here in the three till it moves. Or we just leave him there. Who cares? So there's two there. I need two here. So that's five, one, two, boom. There's six in the CHL. Is this Mike Mario? It's not, because he would still be playing. Throw you in the NHL. I gotta know what your name is. Mo Moises. <clears throat> Matt Vichek, you're gonna go to the ice. There are 11 whole players. We can see if they fix the Elsvenskin this year. <clears throat> I was gonna put some players in there that I created. Um, but again, I just didn't want it to be like all of a sudden one year and then everyone just forgot about them. So we're gonna put you in the league. Put you in the SHL. And then that gives me another one in Russia. I already got two skets active in Russia. How many skets do you have now? So I've got four, four. Oh, the USA. So four, four, nine. All right, perfect. We are good. All those folks have been moved to where they need to go. We had enough for the year. I'm not too worried about any of that. Um, all right. <clears throat> Let's take a quick look. Uh, at the teams, you'll be able to see the logos. So the Albuquerque Aliens, Kreider, Matthews, Mantha, pretty solid. We're not going to get into it. Anaheim, Arizona, uh, the Alaska Sperm Whales. Uh, Boston is here. You can take a quick look. Buffalo, Robert Thomas is there with Blake Lazat. Keller is in Carolina now. Nola Chari's there, I saw. Toffoli, Kokaniemi, and Mika Rantanen in Columbus. Michael Bunting, Pedersen, and Cole Caulfield in Calgary. Chicago's got Kyle Connor, Nick Backstrom, and Lucas Raymond. Colorado's got Palat, Zegras, and Verhegi's in there. QB, Tavares, Jared Anderson Dolan in Dallas. 
Uh, Delaware, Du Bois, JT Miller, Krejci, Kako, Afinasaya, Wayne Simmons was there. Uh, Sonny Milano's back in Detroit. Aho, Patrick Laine. Not bad. Oilers, Kaprizov, Hurdle, Formanton, Dawson Mercer. They got Shane Wright. Uh, Robbie Fabry. Uh, sorry, Fabry was in Detroit. Is in Europe with McKinnon and Terry, Nick Suzuki, and uh, Oliver Borkstrand. Manjapan, McDavid's in Florida with Boucher. Couture, Barzell, Zadina in Halifax. Houston, yes, okay, so I know it's a, they're the lobsters, but there were no goddamn lobsters, and honestly, their alt jerseys are the best jerseys that I've made. Everything else, like, all, honestly, jerseys are all pretty shit. <laughs> That's what you get when you're colorblind and you don't care and you're trying to get her done quick. Uh, Drysidle, Skinner, Voracek, Statsny in Houston. Uh, Kachuk in Helsinki with Eichel and Yanni Gord. Kansas City's got Natchez, Charlie Coyle down the midder, middle. Landeskog, Zacha, Besser in L.A. Guriana, Bergeron, Debrinkat in London. The Lions there. Yevgeny Dadanov, Joel Pavelski, Nuge, all in Minnesota. Moscow's got the likes of Janot, Jack Hughes, Heedle, Tommy Ciano, Logan O'Connor's there, Matt Zuccarello, and Pasta. Uh, I'm going to try to do what they can for this god awful Montreal team sorry all right Montreal I'm gonna take a look at your goal attending Freddie Anderson I mean obviously you'd want to leave goaltender uh Shea Theodore Justin Hall. Oh, I mean your left side's all right but I wouldn't be too happy with what you got there uh Trevor Moore now some Kadri Mitch Marner reunited in New Jersey love to see it Nashville's got Ehlers Letary Dubé Islanders are looking like Sam Reinhart, Patty Kane. Uh, Rangers have Sidney Crosby. Oh my goodness. Uh, Paterka, McCann, Paul Schwint, or the Oregon Owls. Look at that sick ass jersey. He's got Panarin and Kopitar together. Uh, O'Reilly and Niederreiter. And, I mean, that second line, Taylor Hall, O'Reilly, Evander Kane, is going to do some damage, I think. Uh, Nylander, Thompson, and Kucherov in Ottawa. Uh, Philly going with Jonathan Marcheseau, Dylan Cousins, Nick Royzer, Stud, uh, who we've had in old seasons. Brendan Hagel, Malkin stays in Philly or in Pittsburgh. They know what they had and what they wanted. Max Domi's there with Nick Bonino. Kevin Hayes was in Pittsburgh too, so I don't know. They stole him from Philly. Cappy, Doc, and Svetch running that first line. Slavkovsky uh, went to Quebec as well. The Renegades, Match Pacioretty, Stutzel. Uh, Bertuzzi, Larkin, Shifley in uh, Seattle. Uh, Tolvanen, Shen, Tarasenko, Byfield in San, San Jose. Tampa, Jason Robertson, Kep Nargat Kuznetsov, Sergovich, Marchman, pretty solid. Maple Leafs got Lafreniere, Kempe, Beauvillier. I mean, they really took a hit in star power. How do they do it on defense? Let's take a look there. Uh, Devin Tays. Devontae's, Marino, Romanov, Timmins, Chowalski, Broberg. I mean, some guys that are good, some guys that could be good. Cal Peterson is back now that he's actually a solid player. And Logan Thompson. Very interesting. Tulsa, Nyquist, Johansson, Newhook. Uh, Ukraine, Fiala, Point, Kubali, Kazak, Aston, Reese. Canucks got Brat, Hintz, Olofsson, Deneau, Jankowski. Vegas rocking with OV, Couture, Dubois, Shiri, Andreas Janssen, Winnipeg getting Yamamoto, Elias Lindholm, Boone Jenner, and the Wisconsin Cheese, Anthony Duclair, Barkov, Yakov Trenin, and the Washington Capitals, Gensel, Duchesne, Granlund, and that would be it. That is a pretty, pretty solid looking team. All right, we kind of know where we stand. We'll go up to this next preseason game and see if Josh Anderson comes in. Uh, I am going to decline that trade. I don't want Montour. <clears throat> All right, so he hasn't signed yet. Uh, let's just advance a day. 
Oh, Josh Anderson went to Quebec. Nobody else we're really interested. Not like we needed anybody else. We're just going to run with what we've got. I'm sure we can make something work. Uh, through the preseason, we're just going to go through day by day here and see if we get anything decent. Doesn't look like it. Three losses so far. Two close ones. One blowout by Houston. Uh, uh, beat Dallas 3-1 to one and beat Nashville. Uh, six to three are probably our closest rival in the division alrighty so let's go ahead and I'm not really worried about the salary cap 30 million dollars it's more than enough to clear all right we'll be facing Dallas to start the first game of the month be seeing a lot of these teams in our division and our conference. We won't see any of the other teams until the playoffs. So who knows if they can beat each other. First game of the season is a 4-1 loss. We are just going to go into the calendar and sim right through the year. And then we're going to get into the draft. That's really all there is. A lot of friendly faces. And by friendly, I mean not at all. Uh, let's go to February 1st, and then we'll look into any trades if we need to make them, see how players are doing. Uh, but for now, we're just going to sim. A shutout loss to Nashville. Calgary's up next. We lose to them 3-2, to two, or 3-1. to one. We're going to be able to beat anybody. No pity points, remember. So still no points on the season. Finally got our first win. Two wins in a row, beating Kansas City and Albuquerque. Nashville up next. Can we keep the win streak going? We do. Now with nine points in seven games, which is not really that great. Another no-point loss. Not going to be rewarded for losing, folks. It's not how the league should be. I mean, it can be. I just don't think it should be. Uh, Goche for Tyranny. Nope. We're going to keep our players for as long as we can. Big loss to Albuquerque there. Thought we'd be, have a better shot after we beat him 4-3. Uh, but maybe that was just wishful thinking. Uh, Houston's up next. Beat them in overtime. Love to see it. That's just one point for us, though. Uh, another solid... Or that was two points. Another solid win over Kansas City. We beat them two out of the three times we've played. Nashville's up next. Can we do two and three? No, they wanted that. Uh, Dallas is up next. We lose that game. Can we beat Kansas City? Make it three and one on the season with them. We do. I do not want Brandon Montour, and I'm not giving you a second for him. Please leave me alone. I think it was Buffalo. Cannot beat Nashville for the life of us since they beat us, or since we won five two. And Nashville again. We lose them. Can we beat Kansas City? They are having a shit year. 3-9-1. and one. Now 3-10-1. and one. I mean, honestly, Kansas is probably going to be in the bottom of the league at this point. We are sitting just outside of a playoff spot in our division. Now within by one point. Remember, only the top two teams in each division go forward into the playoffs. So uh, it's definitely going to be a lot harder. Only 16 teams are still going to make it in a 48-team league. Why don't I make it bigger? Why the fuck not? We don't need to. We just need to, because then it's just going to make the playoffs even longer, and I don't want to have to go through that. <laughs> and, and that's why I didn't extend the season to make more games for the added teams. It's not, I don't want to do like a baseball-style season where there's a game every other day and you've got to rotate out players. for. No thanks. Okay, LA. Stop it. I don't want him. We're on a five-game win streak right now. Can we beat Kansas City to make it six? We do. Seattle's up next. Decline. 12, 8, and 2 on the season. We we'll beat Seattle in our first meeting of the year. We do. Back to back games against Tulsa here. Uh, loss and a win. Beautiful. Love to see it. We're at 40 points. We're the best team in our division right now. If 
finally another game against Seattle. We beat them four to one. Interesting. I mean, it, within our division itself, it's like we're not great. We've been playing a lot of other teams. I don't know who's in my division anymore. I'll see it in a minute. Uh, more losses back to back. Nashville, 16, 11, and 2. 46 points. Houston is ahead of us. The board's just behind us. When we beat Vancouver, we do. We have to beat Houston here if we want to keep a playoff spot. We're only into December. 3 to 1 loss. I mean, we're either going to lo start losing these games. We haven't even played Regina yet, or Wisconsin, or Alaska. Anaheim, San Jose, I don't think we've played. Beat Regina. We did beat Nashville there. It's been the first time in a while. Buffalo's fired their head coach. Four to one win over Dallas. First time in two weeks or three weeks. We've lost to LA in our first game against them. Kept it close though. Fifty-eight points. Harris just behind us. Can we beat the Renegades again? No, we can't. Four two. They hand us. They hand it to us, and that's all right. Nashville's up next. Beat them four to one. Now we beat them two in a row. Uh, Minis finally here. Let's see how we can do against them. We lose. Nashville's up next. Can we win a third game in a row against them? Kansas City has fired their head coach. I mean, would would make sense. They've been absolutely terrible this year. We lose against Nashville. I don't know if we beat Wisconsin. I think we did, but we're sitting outside a playoff spot again. And I guess I was right in our comparison to a bubble team. It's just our bubbles are different now. All right. Lose to Chicago. Finally meet in Alaska. Uh, in Alaska. Or no, Alaska was here. We won. Probably jet lagged, unfortunately. Uh, Houston is up next. We face them. And then Vancouver back to back. You'll love to see it. Nope. Goche for a second. No, why would I give you a third and Goche for your second? A year later. Lose to Houston. Beat Vancouver. Can we beat Tulsa? They've played less games than us at this point when we lose in overtime. No points there. Uh, Dallas, Houston, Nashville up this week. A uh, gauntlet of terrors, in all honesty. Uh, we beat Dallas for one point. Uh, we lose to Houston, and they gain three. Nashville, on the other hand, is coming up on Saturday night, hockey night in America. Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't need Ryan Hartman. I'm not looking, really, to make any changes this season. We're just going to see where we go, get into this draft, and go from there. So we do win two out of the three games, get four out of a possible nine points. Beat Colorado 7-2. Kansas City up next. They fired their head coach. And they aren't doing terribly, but they're definitely not great. You would assume that they were doing a lot worse when they fired their head coach. But they're just shy of 500. Uh, oh, and they did beat us, actually. I'm just dumb, apparently. And Arizona beat us, too. Um, coming up next, Tulsa. Can we beat them? Anything at all? We are kind of slipping further and further back. Yep. Uh, squirts are just behind us. It is now February 1st. We have 75 points. Good for fourth in our division. And uh, let's go take a look at how we're doing. All right, well, when JVR is the only person who is not even a point per game, that is very upsetting. 
JVR, Corey Pair, Genther's got 37. Veneers only has 28 points. Owen Power's not doing too bad. Dylan Holloway. Okay. I mean, there's no real point in changing anything outside of maybe moving Genther up. I don't know, Perry was doing pretty good, right? Twenty-eight. How many bows do you have? Seventeen. Jumbo is thirty-four points. Can make that change. Genther's an eighty-four now. <clears throat> That's good to see. Uh, Owen Power, please tell me he's an 83. Bachwist an 86. <clears throat> I mean, that's exactly what I'm looking for out of those two. Exactly what I'm looking out of four out of these two. Family Minutes are playing 19 minutes a night. They're both plus seven, though. Minty and Clark, he's having a bad year. That's okay. We're going to do that. We're going to just switch that up a tad. Uh, goaltending. I mean, honestly, goaltending hasn't been terrible. And then over here. I mean, this is exactly where these guys needed to be. And then really more care about goalie here. Casa is having a decent year, 20, only 15 losses, 250, uh, not bad. Gote, not great. I mean, also not terrible, but again, it's AHL and your numbers aren't always going to be great, but you got to be better. You want to make the NHL team eventually, you have to be better. All right, so let's take a quick look here. at uh, team stats so Houston and Tulsa leading the way in the 80s Dallas is kind of high behind but we're at 75 we're uh, 11 points out of a spot at this time in the southeast Washington and Tampa leading the way uh, Carolina is out Delaware Carolina's the 8th team in the league, and they're not going to make the playoffs. In the Metro, New Jersey and New the Islanders are leading the way. Uh, it's close, though. New York and Philly and Pittsburgh still in chase on that one. Um, again, looking like a 16th overall team might make the playoffs. Uh, Maple Leafs are out by 4 points in this stage. Quebec's pretty far out. Bruins, uh, we already know how we're doing here. Nashville's all the way out on uh, that one. LA and Vegas leading the way. San Jose's, they're pretty much out of it at this point. Uh, about two months left, two and a half, three months left. Maybe could get it, but it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of practice. Like Wisconsin and Minnesota being pretty close. I love to see it. I love the Wisconsin cheese logo. Uh, in the Northwest, Seattle and Oregon leading the way. Edmonton is way too far behind at this point. to but make it 12 points out. So in the Eastern Conference, we're looking at Ukraine, Europe, Washington, New Jersey, Tampa, Montreal, Detroit, Carolina. Well, no, we don't even have anybody making the playoffs yet, so we'll, we'll see. But it's definitely going to be a very, very weird to see. Uh, did I miss the Far East? We did miss the Far East division. Ukraine and Europe. Halifax is 10 points out. Moscow, same thing. 30 some odd games left, I guess. It's not the full season is done, um, but <clears throat> definitely some ideas we need to look into. Things I'd like to do is put some players on the block. Uh, trade block, where are you? Alrighty. JVR. Uh, 
Freeze. Alright, if I can get anything for these guys with one year left, like any picks or anything, I'm gonna take it. Jumbo's been great for us. Silverberg. And like Char. I know it's not great, but if you want depth guys, I'm your guy. Alright, we're gonna go week by week at this point just to kind of finish off before the dead or we'll just trade up. We'll go up to the deadline. Um, and then we'll make a decision about any trades we want to make. See what's available to us at that time. BKC, finally a game against San Jose. Can we beat them? We do not. Kansas City's up next. 3-1 to one win back-to-backs -back. So against them. Houston, can we get a win in this back-to-back? -back? We cannot. We lose in the shootout. Hold them only to one, getting one point on us, but uh, it's not good enough. Just not good enough. I see a couple games against Anaheim coming up. Love to see it. San Jose gives us one point. I'll take it. Hard fought win. Uh, hold Mini to one point. Arizona's coming up next. Beat them. We are in Alaska this time. We're going to be the ones tired, and we beat them anyway. Interesting. Kansas City's up next, and we make it three wins in a row against our rivals. Albuquerque's fired their head coach. Obey Kubel for two seconds. I'm going to decline that. Silverberg for Letary. And I get a third. Thank you. I've only been playing this game for forever. It's got one year left, and I'm getting a third round pick. Uh see you have 27 points Sylvie you've got a little bit more but honestly two years left on your deal I'm not really gonna want to keep you uh, does it look fair to you guys yeah it looks pretty fair to me I don't want to add anything no no I might as well get this done with while I'm in here thank you I'll take that Go to roster moves. I just have to fix my lines, right? I'm going to the center. Vin Vin. And he's had a better season than Felino. So we'll do that. All right, we made one trade of a guy that we were looking to get away, get rid of. I love to see they didn't fix this uh, glitch from last year, where I can't see the games beforehand. But hey, I guess you can't be too upset as long as the game does not blow up in your face. I don't know. Gervais Renard, you're definitely a seller. Enter the trend deadline. Should all fix itself because obviously you could clearly say that it was not working properly. All right, JVR. Anybody looking for a JVR type? Ooh, looks like we do have something. Abramov. Low 6 0, oh, third and a fourth. Stelio's there, but we know he's not that great. Anthony Hanka, Rosniemi Ikonen. 
Not within our division. Second out of Montreal, which is basically a third. Priestella. Honestly, I don't even remember who was leading the team. Uh, so we're going to take that Montreal deal, I think. Just because I'm going to send him to the east again. Second and a fifth. I like the sounds of that. We'll accept that trade for JVR. Okay. As long as nobody calls Paul Byron, we're going to be good. Uh, Parise. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a second for Parise, unfortunately. I am not. But I don't hate that one from Tampa, maybe. Parise. Oh. Parise, Chara, Hornquist, Franzen for a second in 2024. No, I'm going to decline that. Because I'm going to get a third and a fifth for, for Parise, and then what am I going to get for everybody else? Like, you're just trying to make something work. So there's two places I want to send Parise. One being New Jersey, which is probably where I'm going to send them if... Yeah. So New Jersey's getting Zach Parise back. Michael Forleek's coming up. Jumbo. <clears throat> Matt Shogard. Olivier Rodrigue. want to see what Rodrigue looks like on this. Medium starter, 73 overall at 22. I mean, he would slot in, but then the cost is coming up next year, like his backup, right? That would kind of be our Beautiful. Stocking up on picks. Anybody want Hornquist? On seventh, ooh, a fifth from Europe. We're gonna just gonna take that. I'm not even gonna look around. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of Corey Perry. He's been honestly really good this year. And I honestly don't want to get rid of uh, any of our boys, like Gudis or Chara, right now. Corey Perry to Pittsburgh for a fifth. Evangelista. Honestly, I think that's it. Like, I don't want to get rid of those guys. Everybody else has been fine for us. We do need some salary cap on this team. It can't just all be. So I think that's it. I think we're out of the trade deadline at this point. And we need to go edit lines and have some fun with that. Man, I still haven't fixed this. This just sits and loads. All right, let's go fix my lines up here quickly for both teams. Dylan Genther now leading the team in points.
Clint Coach preferred lines. Dylan is a left winger. You know what? Let's go with it. Defense didn't change. Goaltending didn't change. Alright. Let's just go ahead and get this done. Still uh, nine points out of a playoff spot, or yeah, nine, 12 points out of a playoff spot. Not much time left in the season. Go right to the 12th. We'll get that last game of the month done for everybody, too. Tulsa, Dallas, Anaheim, Tulsa, Oregon, Winnipeg, Tulsa, Oregon, Houston, Chicago, Houston, Edmonton to do the month. Back-to-back uh, -back wins there after our first loss of the month against the Tulsa. Still sitting in fourth in our division, though. Can't keep losing to the teams ahead of us. That's kind of the problem, right? Like, another big loss. Bruins have fired their head coach. We'll wait till the offseason, don't worry. Uh, St. Louis, or Winnipeg beats us. Man, it's like just gaps of a week between games here. Uh, finally beat Tulsa this month. One and two on the month. I know our season series against them is not good. We're now 14 points behind. We're not gaining. Uh, lost to Oregon, beat Houston, beat Chicago, beat Houston again. Uh, I think so. No, we lost. Yeah, that gap is just staying at 14. It's not getting any better. Pittsburgh has fired their head coach as well. That's quite a few head coach firings this season. Uh, beat Edmonton on the season. Now third in our division. Three more games. One against Dallas. We beat Vegas. We don't. And then we do not make the playoffs. We wouldn't have made it anyway, even if we had won that game. Uh, but Dallas was still too far behind us. So we lost out by uh, 18 points. No. 23 points. They just kept getting better and better and better. Genther was just fine. Honestly, we took away everything that he had. He's now an 85 on the season. You'll love to see it. Matty Beneers, 48 points, still an 81. Felino, Owen Power, an 83. Uh, Dylan Holloway, 78. He went up by one. Uh, Bockwest is now an 88. He went up by quite a bit. Brent Clark, 76, went up, I think. Uh, Minty went up by one. Kamel, Evangelista, and Rees did not have a great season once they got here, uh, but that's okay. We've got another couple seasons. Um, not going to look into that. We'll just look at awards. <laughs> Way too many teams and nonsense to deal with. We will look at the playoffs and how that stacks up. Houston and Tulsa out of the south. Uh, let's go ahead and jump all the way down to the far east. Far East, Ukraine, Helsinki, and Europe make it, actually. Interesting. Uh, the Southeast, Washington and Tampa make it. In the Metro, New Jersey makes it. New York, not good enough. Uh, in the North Division, Ottawa and Montreal making it. Detroit only missed out by three points. In the South Division, Houston and Tulsa, we already know. Southwest Division, only Vegas makes it. LA missed out. Uh, Midwest Division, Wisconsin and Colorado. Northwest Division, Alaska, Seattle, and Oregon. And let's take a look. Eastern Conference. 
Okay, so it is the top eight teams. It's not the top two from every division. So it's possible you could not make a division if your division is garbage. That is interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, well, let's take a look at what we've got here. Washington, New Jersey, Ottawa, Tampa, Ukraine, Helsinki, Europe, Montreal. In the west, you're looking at Vegas, Alaska, Houston, Seattle, Tulsa, Colorado, Oregon, and the Wisconsin Cheese. Look at that angry pizza. That is a pretty, pretty solid lineup. Uh, they haven't announced any of this stuff yet, so let's quickly go until it announces the playoffs. Season is done. I just want to look at this. Playoff tree. Round of 16, Vegas, Montreal, Colorado, Ottawa, Ukra Washington, Ukraine, New Jersey, Tampa, Alaska, Europe, Tulsa, Oregon, Houston, Helsinki, and Seattle, Wisconsin. Very, very nice. This is a round of 16. They did change it up a little bit. Not sure why they did it this way in comparison for the 48, like for a round of 16. Had it have been a bigger one, I would have understood that. Um, but I don't hate it. It's pretty clean. Uh, very easy to see, and everybody is on one page instead of having to scroll back and forth. Um, so that is pretty decent. We are going to end this one here, folks, before the playoffs end. Uh, we'll come back to it. We'll come into the playoffs and the draft, uh, and then the offseason before we really start to try and make a push with this team. Hopefully some of these guys get better over the summer. So thanks for hanging out, folks. Much love. Bye-bye.